When you hear the word backpacking, chances are a salty breeze and sandy toes don't come to mind. But believe it or not, there's a unique backpacking opportunity just off the Georgia coast. When the trails in the mountains are covered in snow, this island is the perfect place to chase away the winter blues. there are some logistics involved, starting with the ferry ride over. I expected this to be a pretty boring ride, surrounded by strangers. That is until I saw a familiar face at the visitor center. For background, this is a friend of mine. We both showed up on the exact same day without the other note. How crazy is that? Unfortunately, we were staying in different campgrounds and she had to leave early the next day. Leaving me solo again. You don't have to walk the beach to get to Stafford, but you can. I figured, why not? In a lot of ways, backpacking at the beach is easier. There's certainly no switchbacks or summits to climb.
still, it does have some challenges. For one, hauling a pack across sand will tire out muscles you didn't even know you had. And drinkable water is limited to a handful of stations on the island. On top of all that, weather can be pretty erratic. All things considered though, campers have it pretty easy. Life is far tougher for the permanent residents here. There's no shortage of controversy surrounding these feral horses. Some believe, as a non-native species, they should be removed. Others see them as part of the island's heritage and want to preserve their population. As for me, I'm not sure what side of the argument I'm on. If I packed up and left now, that would give me enough time to explore before getting on the evening ferry. At one time, Cumberland was a plantation owned by Revolutionary War General Nathaniel Green. Toward the end of the 1800s, Lucy Carnegie, sister-in-law of steel tycoon Andrew Carnegie, would come to own a majority of the island.
After her death, the property became too expensive for her heirs to manage, and it fell into disrepair. You know that erratic weather I mentioned earlier? All of a sudden, the wind picked up and temperature dropped. Thankfully, the ferry would be arriving soon. So I decided to head for the ranger station and change back into my warm camp clothes while I waited. This island is the perfect place to chase away the winter blues. I think this adventure will hold me over until spring.